Hello dear ones, it's Alice, I'm of the stars. You may not know about the, the Krampus demon class. I know you know about Krampus, he's the evil opposite of, of Santa Claus, known in, very well known in Bavaria and increasingly so elsewhere in the world. He's a type of demon. There are actually a number of Krampus-like demons in the world still today. It has to do with corporeal punishment of children, which is still widespread despite the fact that we're five years into new life on New Earth. But I think that will be changing in the next two years. Um, meantime, coming up this year, great transformations for men, I feel, which is completely their domain. Anyway, to get back to the Krampus, class of demons. I found out that Archangels are of great help, specifically in my case, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Gabriel, who are in charge of protection of humankind, protection of the light everywhere. That's Archangel Michael. Healing, healing humans and other beings, I'll bet. That's Archangel Raphael. And bringing messages from God. That's Archangel Gabriel. So, so these, these beings, yesterday there was just a big rumpus. There was an unfortunate incident on Earth early in the day, very early, before, before daylight, uh, Los Angeles time. An unfortunate incident occurred in Maryland. And that had to do with uh, an unintentional setting loose opening of uh, the door where evil dwells. Now, this is mentioned in Dual Kul's very famous prayer, the, the Great Invocation. It's famous because it's extremely um, powerful prayer for the return of light and love to earth through the plan of the masters and, the, and through Christ consciousness, through God himself. And um, part of the prayer has to do with uh, a request that the plan of love and light on earth work out and that it close the door where evil dwells. Yes, so that, that great invocation, that's the closing of the door. As, as is the in, invocation for help uh, from the archangelic realm. But the opening of the door, what is that? The opening of the door where evil dwells. Now you may be asking first, where is this door? But this door does not have a physical location on earth. It has a kind of dark invocation. And that invocation is the desire for mind control. The desire to control someone else's mind. And that desire and that invocation and dark, dark request uh, open the door where evil dwells and allow evil to spew forth into the minds of oneself and of other people. When, it, when oneself becomes obsessed by the dark through that, through that request and then that, that darkness and that evil spills out from the highly condensed um, energies of the deepest parts of molten core of earth on the astral plane. It spills out into the energy field of the other person. The person that we wish to mind control but for them, it doesn't leave a lasting mark. Through dedicated prayer and commitment to meditation, they can overcome the adulteration of their electromagnetic field within a week or so. However, for, for those that practice mind control, it's quite the opposite. Every time that they request, the, 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 they request to mind control other people, the the door comes closer to their own soul until at last what has happened in the past in 2016 once and what might happen again is that a person who requested far too many times to become the mind controller of other people was sucked into the door where evil dwells and, and carried back all in a flash into the realm of the greatest darkness. It was completely terrifying for me to experience it on the astral plane and I can only imagine what happened to that soul or what is happening to that soul still for which let us all pray. So then, to get back to the story I was just telling, 
yesterday morning very early, someone was facing someone else on the physical plane and they asked the dark to be able to mind control that other person into killing someone else, into murdering someone else. And the other person, I could feel it, stepped back and said, no, I won't do that kind of work. And just as they said that, the door where evil dwells opened in the heart of the person who requested the mind control and darkness flooded over the electromagnetic field of the other person. Fortunately, nothing fatal, as I said before. Okay, so then all day long, darkness roamed this world yesterday. And then in the afternoon, a bunch of people got together and said, on the astral plane, this is, we've had enough. That's what the light workers do. We've had enough darkness. And they asked the archangelic realm to send help. And the minute they did, the very minute they did, it was a big surprise to me. I heard, I heard whatever it was that had been like pillaging the subconscious, the unconscious thought cloud of the world all day. Suddenly it went, it was like, it was like this great mass of black energy went whoom, down onto the earth and it was bound down to the earth. It was very cool. So now all we have to do at this point is transform it with love. We can say, may you be blessed with unconditional love. May you be blessed with unconditional love. Now for a demon, typically there's not a crossover into the realm of unconditional love. Rather, the very, the very nature of the demon is greatly, ab um, greatly abhors the energy of unconditional love. So either the demon will leave this earthly realm or the demon will slowly but surely dissolve back into source and to God. So either way, it's fine with us humans as long as they're not here. That's my wish for today, is that everyone should, should wish for the demon realm. Uh, may you be blessed with unconditional love. That's a story.